it's going to be a spectacular show in the night sky this weekend. We got two things going on, don't we? Yeah, we sure do. So you got to get your telescopes ready, get the kids ready. Hopefully, you're going to be having a viewing party potentially because we've got um, a big super moon yeah, and also super moon. a meteor shower. And the Perseid meteor yeah. shower. We actually have a NASA scientist, uh, Noah Petro, joining us now to explain more. Good morning, Noah. Oh, we can't hear you. Uh, but we're going to work oh, on this. Sorry. Oh, hey, good morning. Now okay. we can hear you. Pretty exciting. Uh, with these, these, Hi. Super, <laughs> Hi. these super moons have been pretty exciting over the last uh, three months. And uh, now we're dealing with uh, Perseids this weekend. Now, is the moon, though, going to be a problem for viewing Perseids? Yeah, the full moon, you know, it's a bright object in the sky. The supermoon is 30% brighter than a normal or uh, smaller moon. And so it'll probably uh, bl uh, black out any of the uh, the Perseids that, that are occurring over the weekend. I'd encourage people to, to watch Perseids earlier uh, next week when the moon is not going to be quite as bright. And uh, what do these moons do for the tides? We get larger tides this time of year with the moon being closer? Well, certainly during during closer full moons or full moons in general, we do get slightly higher tides. The supermoon probably doesn't really affect the tides, at least not noticeably. There really shouldn't be any any major thing different. If you weren't didn't know that the, the supermoon was occurring, you might not actually notice it. I think the biggest difference that's going to occur because of the supermoon is the next morning people are going to wake up with stiff necks, having spent the whole night watching the full <laughs> moon uh, fly through the sky. So here in San Francisco in the Bay Area, what's the mm -hmm. best way to see the supermoon and then later the shooting star? It is, it is, it so the, the best way for people in the Bay Area to, to get out is to find a, a, a uh, a clear horizon to the east, so so somewhere, you know, one of the, the wonderful beach, beaches along the bay or some area along the bay, look off to the east after sunset when the moon is rising. Of course, any place that has a clear uh, view of the sky will have a great view. You want to get away from bright lights, get away from any of the stadiums, and uh, hopefully you can be treated to a, to a great show. Now, uh, the Perseids, again, just need to have a, a clear view of the sky, and it has to be somewhat dark. So again, the full moon will, will sort of obscure that a little bit, but still should be a great show. Yeah, I hope the clouds and fog stay away. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Thank you, Noah, joining us live this morning.